Hello, my name is Mike from Prebuilt Manufacturing. Today we're going to build the Triplex Birdhouse Kit. So this Birdhouse Kit will contain, when you get it, the instructions, the nails, the front. You'll have two sides that will be identical like so. You're going to have three floors. You're going to have two roof supports. You're going to have three perches. You're going to have the one main perch on top. You have the back and then the two roofs. So take the two roofs and the roof supports and set those aside for now. And then the front and the back, we'll get to those in a minute. The first thing that you want to do, actually the front you're going to need. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the, the whole middle box here. You see this is a new kit we're just first developing here. So I'm just about as fresh as you are. So this has two ways of going. You want to know that these go on, get nailed on this way. Okay, so you're going to have three floors that are going to go in to the kit at certain heights when the, when the two side walls are first nailed to build a box that looks like this. Okay, the holes, the different distances between the holes is going to be dictating where the floors are. So you don't want to put a floor halfway through a perch, or sorry, through, a, a, to, through the access hole. So you want each floor, when you build this unit, you want one floor there, the next floor there, just over the last hole, and the next floor there, just over the last hole. So that's how you want to build that. So what you're going to do is you're going to use this front for a marker. You set this aside like this. You're going to use this front for a marker. If you set the side like this beside the front, then what you do is you can take your nails <coughs> and you can visually see where you are just over that hole and just hitting inside your half inch where you'd want your floor. So you'd place your floor just over that hole like that knowing that that's where you want your floor, so that's where you're going to be putting your nail. Then you can use this as a square, knowing that that's square to the unit, and you're going to be about halfway through the half inch thickness, so you're just going to use this as a square to be able to put in your second nail. So your second nail is going to end up about there. I'll just put one right in the middle. So you're going to do that same thing here. Another thing you can do, there's all kinds of little neat little hints, is you can put one of the floors here, right, knowing that the other floor is going to be inside of that distance right there. You can probably see that from there, right, and then what I'll do is I'll just simply put this one end on end beside that one, being that it's square as well knowing that that's where we want to put that floor through the unit. It's easier to nail with that on that side too, by the way. So I'll put three nails in there. Like so. <coughs> that's just about the trickiest part. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to have the bottom Oh, that's got to be nailed too, by the way, so let's do that now. So we're going to nail about a quarter of an inch in from that edge, right? quarter inch or better, just about the middle of that half inch. You're going to put three nails there as well. Now when you're tapping the nails in, try to keep your hammer, you can see how I'm tapping. Tap, tap gently and keep your hammer 90 degrees to the head of the nail. Easier to, to tap it in. And then just tap it, go nice and gentle, don't, uh, don't wail on it, it'll be, uh, it, they will actually bend. So start with the bottom here, you're going to go 90 degrees, that you already know where the bottom is going to be. You got this turned the correct way, and it's going to line up with the bottom like that, 90 degrees there. 
Now if I hit that, this is going to scooch out from underneath, so I'm just going to lift that up with my hand like so. So I'm nailing directly down into the table. After one nail, check, make sure you're still flush. A little piece of wood hanging out of there. Like so. So now you've got that bottom piece nailed on to the bottom like so. <clears throat> so now, you take the next one, same way, you know where it is on the kit as per making sure the, the floor is in the right spot. Like that. And you go to the, to, to the last one up so you got the most stability. Look at the side that's closest to you, hit that half inch right in the middle. I can't see that side, so now I'm going to spin it around, and I'm going to look at this side, and I'm going to hit that half inch right in the middle like this. Now it's starting to become a box. That's a lot easier to put the nails into. Leave my glue on my side because it's uh, getting down to half. And then this half inch piece right in the center, spin it around, like that, so now just straighten those up, you can actually, if you're, if you're particular you can use any piece to square it up so you like it like that, square like that, then you're ready to go with just putting the uh, nails right in. Now pre-nail this bottom edge of where it's going to go into the floor. If you pre-nail this, it's easier than work anytime you build a bird ice kit. It's easier to work with putting the nails in like this first. These nails are, are sharp and they bend easy and they're small. So if you pre-nail like that, then that gives you the ability to be able to just set it on and tap them in. So glue all three of these edges. So you'll see me start putting nails in a little bit quicker now because of the, uh, the time frame of the video. So I'm going to find, you can see the floor exactly where you are here now with uh, the edge of it each time and you know that they were squared up ahead of time. So I'm going to put a nail on each of these floors so that I'm happy with where they are there. And it's just as easy to nail these in without pre-setting them. Due to the fact that it's just it's just a square box going straight through the table. And I think I may have mentioned too, when you're presetting your nails on the table like this, make sure that where the nail is going through can't uh, damage whatever it is that the nail might go through too. So your mother's new granite countertops is not a good spot to do this unless you've got something you can nail into on top. So you've got your front and your back now. So the front and the back are going to fit now inside those holes, okay? So you're going to have the holes in the proper places versus the floors. That's the trick of this, this kit here. So measuring out those holes ahead of time is extremely important. So here, what you're going to have is you're going to have, your nailing is going to happen in this area here, in, in the half inch pieces. So it's important to put a nice bead of small nice bead of glue right on the outside edges here especially getting up near the top because basically that's going to be the connection from the front to the side on that so I'm going to start by placing it here so that the bottom corners are really nice I've got that half inch thickness here I'm going to drive 
nail into the half inch base. And then you can see the nails that go up the sides. So that indicates where the half inch floors are inside. So if you, have, if you place the nails on that corner, I'm going to look at that same nail on this side and I know that that's where my half inch is. So I'm going to put it in the exact same location. I'm going to make sure that this is square by holding it nice and square to the tip like that. I'll do my two sides here. Looking also at the nails on this side so that I know exactly where to put these bits. Now I'll put my uh, finishing nail there for strength. This will be one strong burglars so to finish. Hurricane proof burglars. Down through those. And now basically you're nailed on completely all the way through. And then the same thing here on the back. Nails are basically just put in the birdhouse kit to hold the birdhouse kit together until the glue sets. When the glue sets, the glue is extremely, extremely strong. When you're working with glue and wood, once you glue wood together, you'll find it's extremely, extremely strong. So nails are more just the pegs that hold things together until the glue sets. That, make sure the bottom is nice and flush there. And then the same trick with the nails for a visual as to where that corner was. Spin that around so I can see it. In the instructions, as I said, I'm fairly fresh with this too. You'll see that probably in step two, I think it was, that I put the roof supports in. You can do that either time here. Um, putting the roof supports in can be done uh, when you actually nail on the, the front to the sides, you could probably install the roof supports, but uh, I've moved on and the roof support I'll just put in. It'll actually be held well the way I'm going to do it here next. Going ahead in my mind about putting the, you know, you don't need to put a roof on this. So there's that. So now you've got these two fellas right here. These are the roof supports that'll hold this, that you'll be able to nail the roof into. So these here, uh, nobody will see these. They're, they're so visual and the, the better outside edge is not a factor. So you just put a little bit of glue on each end. And you, basically I'm just gonna lift that up a little bit like that. Put that in there like so. Now you want to make sure that you don't bring this up too high so that it interferes with the other one that you're going to put in. It's a half inch thick. So if you bring it up too high, it's going to be pushing this one in. So you want a gap. You want a gap on the on the roof support on the bottom from here about like so. And then you've got this this larger gap at the top. So I'll put some pressure on that and have it flush, so I like it where it is. And that'll create my ability to be able to hammer straight down through the nail. Make sure you check again for flush here, that's important. So that's flush, this is flush here. that in there and then I'm going to check this for flush. And 
It's just the, the way that you hold it gets you that distance out from the edge. Same thing on the other side. A little bit of a lift, and it goes. You can convince it straight like that. So now these are not touching at the top, otherwise they'd have been pushing out. So the distance here doesn't really matter too much. Just a gap like that, so they're not touching there, and you have a gap. Like that. I'm sure that's flush. <coughs> okay, so now you have, that one's a little bit longer than the average birdhouse kit that we built. So now you have the finished box from this to this. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna do the sanding of the entire box um, and the sanding of the roofs. Okay, so you wanna be able to sand everything now so that when you have the roofs on right if you want to try to sand all that later right that can be a real it can be real difficult to try to get in there so take your sandpaper and sand down all the edges and everything that you like the way that you like it i'm not going to do 20 minutes of sanding but uh basically a lot of people like sanding it right down and making it all nice the wood look the painted look even painting sometimes you want to finish painting so now what you have is you have the need to put the roofs on, okay, so you've got two roofs and the roofs are important that the edge of the roof lines up with that point right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a look at where that roof support there lands on these roofs so that you have an idea of where you need to put these nails. And one of the things that you can do is you can look at the nails that went into the half inch here Right, and that'll give you an idea of where you're going to be putting the nails into the roof here. So I'm putting the, the birdhouse against myself here. I'm going to tap the nails in, just pre-tap them in like so. Just two of them, so that I'll be able to understand where that needs to be nailed. And then I'll apply my glue, and apply the glue to the front and the back and about so in the middle okay so now you've got a really really strong application you're going to put this you're going to feel with your finger the tip and you're going to line up the back like that so just feel that tip in the back pop that in like that And then that's on there like that. So if you look under the front here, you'll see those nails as well, right? So if I look at that, see one straggler nail here, and I put this nail far enough back in to hit that half inch, right? So it doesn't come out the front, up and back and sideways to be able to actually fit and hit that half inch. So I'm right about there. And I know that I'm gonna comfortably hit that half inch. So you can, the nail doesn't need to be perfect in the roof where you're putting it. All you need to do is be sure that you're going to hit that half inch. So then you can drift a little bit in towards the middle. Okay. So then now you've got this side. So this side, what I would do, and again, there's a couple different ways. And I'm fairly fresh at this myself. The one way that I was thinking was you could put it on the edge of the table like so. Right, and that'll give you a nice flat area. Plus this one's already nailed in so that sort of hooks on the edge of the table. So I'm going to move back here a little bit like this. Right, and I'm going to again get that visual of where the roof goes. Now I'm placing the roof so that it's equal to the tip like it was last time. So you don't want it too high. You don't want it too low. You want to get right so that that tip is exactly where you need it on that tip there. So that the, 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 it's even at the top. So I'm going to place that there, 
And this hooks on the table here like that. It's a nice, nice little hint that I had when I was developing this. And I took the nail and set it again the same way in the half inch. So I know that the half inch is going to be in the in. It's going to hit the half inch in the right spot. Glue the same way. Good glue up, up the, uh, the front and the back and over the half inch. Hook that on the table there like that. Put that against that tip so it's flush all the way down like so. Hold that nice and steady like that. Now don't drive that really hard because you could actually take away from the connection on the nails. You could be peeling it off the other side. So. Now you want to make sure you're, you're straight, before you put your second nail in, make sure that compared to this, you're straight front to back as well. So you want to try to even that out. I like that. I like that where it is there. I'm just going to use my arm here for a sec just to begin. Tapping it set. And then I'm going to set this on the edge of the table like so. A little bit of pressure down on the kit, pull back like so. Yeah, a little bit of pullback that actually helps quite a bit. And then I'll take a look at where the two front ones need to go. Place those. That's not going to work. I'm going to leave that there and then I'm going to place that there. there I can just see that one's gonna hit there so now you've got the finished product there and all you're really after here is the perches so the perches now are very easy to do just take the, the glue and you put a little bit of glue on the end of the perch and you just put it right up against the hole like that and this hole is exactly the size that when you tap perch in, it just stays there automatically. So we'll say I glue both of these. They are that tight. With a little bit of glue, they're never coming out. Like so, and then you take, the when you take the dowel, this one still has the, uh, the label on it. When you take the dowel, you, uh, remove the one label that comes in every thousand dowels on the one end of the one dowel that we cut. And you take the glue and you run it down. There's, you can run it down two different ways. Here is the easiest. If you run it down here and you run it down here. Now you put a little bit more glue on for the top dowel than you would for the rest of the kit. And I see I'm not quite straight here yet too. So what, I, what you can do is you can actually tweak it out because the nails themselves are very small. So you can actually convince it to be the way that you like it. And then when you glue the dowel on, you center that up. Like so. And you have a completed triplex bird hiss. Thank you.